hey hey guys this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 the play test and I am doing another episode again here kinda close because I believe they're gonna be changing lakes real soon here one more time and I wanted to to do this lake one more time because I found a bunch of stuff that uh, while I was off screen some cool species haven't been seen before and some cool locations I was able to get enough money, I got like somewhere around fourteen hundred dollars in cash from these fish and from completing missions or quests and I uh, was able to get some better gear here. Now let me see what the daily quests are. I catch a fish of any species, 3.31 pounds, that should be pretty easy. Catch this many fish of a given species, 5, and catch fish of any species is a weigh a total of 22.05 pounds. That shouldn't be a problem either, honestly. Alright, let me go ahead and check the weekly quest. I think I've already selected one. Uh, I believe it was... Well, maybe I haven't. I thought I had. Okay, well, we'll go back. No biggie. So, before we go any further, let's make sure that we have nothing in our net to sell. No, I think we're good to go, guys. Let's go ahead and do some fishing. Now we're still in Corral Lake. Alright. Remember, when it says loading shaders, things are getting set up. You, you kind of kind of lose some frame rates here. But we always start in the same position. Let me show you where it is on the map. Wow, whoa. Hold on before I... <laughs> check it out. You can see them really good. Okay. You always start out right here at 3, and we are actually going to be doing some fishing here. And the last time we were over in this area, and so we pretty got a, pretty much got a good idea of what that was like. I, when I first came to this map, I didn't do too well here, but I don't know if they made some changes, because now I'm doing really well, and got some interesting species of fish here. Now, you can see them down there, quite a few of them. That wasn't like that before. So let me go ahead, pull out this rod. Now I'm going to be using that flat spoon. And the re I also upgraded this, guys. This has been upgraded quite a bit. So let me go into inventory here. This is now a rod is at 11.99 pounds. And the reel is at 9.92. 10.98 strength for the braid means I need to be careful. I could, you know, destroy that, so I can't let too much tension go up. We've got a five kilogram leader, which for some reason I'm still getting these things on here measured in kilograms instead of pounds. Now this I just switch some things around. It's not as heavy as the other one, but with the float rod. I'm not setting it up as heavy. I want the spin casting one to be the heavier of the two at the moment. I will upgrade the other one too as soon as I can. Now I'm going to throw this out here and see if we can't get the attention of one of the salmon species that we've got going on here guys. There's quite a few of them. Now I need to take the speed down or up to 22%. Now last time I did this I had quite a bit of luck. Now it starts you out in the middle of the day but it seemed like I was doing pretty good in the middle of the day so we'll see how this goes. There we go. Wait a minute. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. I did. I wasn't sure. He was kind of a small one. There. <laughs> Look at this. This one's a new one. I have not caught these before. I've caught the beluga. This is a European sea sturgeon. Why he's in a, you know, freshwater stream, I have no idea. But let's take a look at this little guy. I think you can see. And yeah. Aw. He's cute. He's a cute little fella. Actually, we might put him in the tank just because he's going to be kind of cool. We'll keep him, but we're not going to... 
we'll keep him for now. Yeah, it would probably be seriously illegal to do in real life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much my understanding. You catch a sturgeon in real life, let him go. <laughs> let the darn thing go. Or you're going to be paying some seriously big fines. No, that was a surprise. That was a complete surprise. I did not catch one of those. Caught quite a few beluga in another location that I, I will be showing you here shortly. But, didn't catch one of those. That's pretty cool. There we go. That's what we're after here. Okay, let's go back up to the surface here. I think we got a, some kind of a salmon here. Yeah, we got a pink salmon. Okay. That's another one that's kind of new for you guys to see. Now, so far we've seen sockeye and coho. Pretty little fish. $18.16. You can imagine as they get bigger, they get even more money. Now, you can't get snags. Not too easily, but you can get them. I... If you get snag and it doesn't want to move, just hit the Q and you'll be able to get it back without losing anything. Wish that was true in real life. <laughs> really wish that was true in real life. Now we're not going to probably do much, if any, flow fishing in this episode because pretty much what I've been catching has been typical of what I caught in the last episode. Silver carp, tench. But we did catch the occasional black grayling, but they also bite on these lures, so... Well, we darn, nothing bit that time. I've been seeing a lot of activity over here, too, so I might cast it over here. I want to get... There's another salmon species in here that I want to get. Whoops. Okay, it's in the water. Really wanted to get this other salmon species. I'm like to sink a little bit. It is right on the surface there, and I'm kind of afraid that that might be part of a problem here. Now you will get the Emmer pike here. Now the ones I've caught here have not been as big as the ones I caught in the other location. Dang on it, man! There's another one that didn't get any bites on. Well, let's try this over this way. I hear them. They're being persnickety right now. Probably because I'm recording. Now they will bite on other lures, but this one has been really, really good for catching the, the fish and getting their attention. Spinners are pretty good too. There we go. I think that might be an eel. Yeah, it is. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, you can get eels here too. I forgot to mention that. And this one's kind of a big one. This might be the biggest one I've caught yet. Yeah. New Year personal record. Check him out. 137.37. 8.32 pounds. It's a nice little fish. Nice. And it looks like I completed a quest. That's what that sound means. But I'm going to try one more time to see if I can't. I'm trying to remember what kind of salmon it was. Off the top of my head, I honestly can't remember what it was. I know I've caught chum salmon out of here, too. I thought there was one more in here. For the life of me, I can't remember what it was. And 
those are silver carp. They're not going to go for this lure. Ooh, I swear to God, we are really doing well with the with the eels. Oh, and this is a pretty good size one too. Didn't break my last record, but darn close. 124.44. There's another eel. Now, my wife would never hold, the, hold an eel like that. <laughs> She'd be like, you! <laughs> she says they give her the willies. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you here, there's another good spot. If you check the map here at the top, this is like a little little bitty pond adjoining this this waterway right along here and you can get to it you can get to it through the water believe it or not and right here it's real shallow and you can just walk right across and over here I have been catching some really cool species particularly the black grayling that's one I hadn't seen before I was, I'm hoping I can get you guys one of these so we can take a look at it. It's a very pretty little fish. Let's see here. And there's another silver carp. Got a little bit of lag there. Usually lag it means a good thing. It means there's activity. I'll be darned. Check it out. Another eel. <laughs> I'm seriously catching the eels today. Wow. And this is a this is a good size eel. There's another sturgeon down there. Dang, gone. I am pulling in the eels and just leveled up again. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can't get some. Yeah, I was catching quite a few of the grayling over on this side. So let's try over here again. Ah. Do it too hard. Hit the control button and then reel in. Well, there we go. That's better. All right, let's see if we can't find one of those fellas. This lure has been really good for getting the sturgeon too, guys. But this, there, even though there are sturgeon here. This is not the best spot to fish for them. It's more or less you'll get them on occasion, but... Well, nothing went for it that time. Let's see, I'm getting some lag again. Now I might change over to the spinner just to see if... I'll have a little more luck getting these guys with this, but... The last time I was here, I hooked like three or four of them. And another eel. These guys have been crazy today. I don't know what the deal is. Come on. Yeah, I think I might switch over to... I just can't get over the fact that I'm not getting any of the uh, grayling. That's really strange. 
Okay, actually, these don't do too bad, these twisters, but you're going to get a little bit smaller fish. We're going to use this this time. I don't know why it does that every time you change lures. It's like you're throwing it away in the water or something. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, wow, that's a good cast. <laughs> like right on the edge there. Okay, let's go ahead and let's let this drop a little bit. Yeah, if you let it sink a little bit, it won't go to the surface so soon. There we go. Oh, good. Good, we got a perch. I like perch. Perch are good. See how big this fella is. I've been trying to beat my last record on him. No. He's pretty good size though. Definitely a good size perch. Yeah, the perch really like those spinners. Ah, uh, shoot. This is what I'm talking about. Same, I'm snagged. Just hit Q, and you're no longer snagged. Sometimes it's better to go by example. Yeah, don't freak out if that happens. You will be able to get off of it. Like I said, I wish it was true in real life that you could do that. Wouldn't that be nice? Normally what that means is, well, there's another lure gone. Come on, Grayling, where are you? There's a tench. Yeah, not doing as well with the spinner. Alright, we're going to go ahead and change this to something else. Let's go back to... Actually, we might purchase a new one. It's been a while. Let me see here. Let's go to the shop. Let's see. Baits. Got natural spoon spinners. Spoons have been doing real well. Haven't thought about trying the others just yet. Now we've got the silver red. We've got the silver black. This one's kind of expensive. But I have a good feeling about it, honestly. Let's let's buy it. We've got enough fish in our repertoire that we should be fine. Let's see if that gets anybody's attention. <sighs> I swear to God, I'm always hooking it on the ground. Let's see if that gets anybody's attention. That looks pretty alluring. Also, I like the fact that it seems to be staying closer to the bottom. I really like that. So far, though, nothing seems to be going for it. Yeah, just increase the speed a little bit. No, nothing went for it that time. That doesn't mean it won't. Let's 
so far, nothing seems to be wanting to go for it. So I don't know what species will like that. We're just going to have to try a few things, I guess. All right, since we're not doing much there anyway at the moment, let's go ahead and head over here. Now, this is the big part of the lake, probably the biggest part. It's even bigger than that other portion we were at in the last episode. You can get there from here. And to get there, you can just walk across these logs. Or you can fish from these logs. Or you can fish from these logs. I mean, that might be fun to do, too. But let's change back to this one, because I'm afraid this one's giving me... I know I'm going to be able to get what I want with this. So we're going to cast this way over there. back to 22 and we're going to see if we can't get something's attention here. There's quite a few species out here. There we go and I think it's what I'm after too. It's not big. But I wanted you guys to see this. No, it's another European sea sturgeon. I thought it was a beluga. Now I've caught two. I well, definitely like that lure. Let's try this again. I've been getting the belugas close to shore. Which seems kind of strange, honestly. Now they've been doing upgrades and making changes all the time, so and maybe the weather has a lot to do with things too. I didn't check to see if it was partly cloudy or anything like that, and that could have made a difference in why the grayling weren't biting. There we go. See, I told you they were over here. Let's see. Is this another European sea? Yeah, it's another European Sea. He's personal record. He isn't worth much, though. His size, I guess. I don't know. Let's come over here and do a little fishing on this side of the lake. Got us a little dock here. And we're going to try throwing over there by those stick ups. And I got a couple of lures that I want to try here. I want to try that new lure and I want to try that crankbait I've got. Just want to see what we can get. But I have noticed every time I'm here, there's different fish and the fish are biting that bite are different too. It's like today it's been really strong with the eels. Apparently the European sea surgeon. <laughs> Getting me more lag again. For some reason it's going no longer green. Oh, okay, there it goes. Well, let's try this way because I tell you, the sturgeon when I was here last were really hovering around this area. Now, I had not caught one European sturgeon the last time I fished off screen, and now I've caught, what, three? <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. It's kind of weird. Okay, nothing so far. 
Yeah, I want to try this one. I'm going to cast it way over there just to see if anything goes for it. This is a very expensive lure, but my god is it worth it. We're going to let it sink. Now it doesn't sink on its own. It tends to go to the surface, so we're going to... See if anything in this deep water is going to go for it. Well, so far. I'm getting a lot of lag for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Really interested to see what it's going to be like once we get to the bottom fishing. Because a lot of these fish are right there just off the bottom especially in this particular lake there we go that's what I was after and the beluga does go for it this is a big one this is a big beluga. Very good, very good. This is what I was hoping to get. Wanted you guys to see one of these fellas. And I'm not even going to have to fight him. Okay, so far we're, we can add a little more stress to it. Not too much more. He's... Whew, damn, this is a big one. Yep, we're going to have to fight him. gaining on him. The only thing about the fishing in the noon the noon time is that it's really hard to see the distance markers. You can walk the fish though. That's one thing I really like about this is you can walk the fish. So you can actually get closer to them if you need to. how far out he is. Yeah, I'm going to walk over here because I can get all the way out to this rock. I 
There's been a few times I've been able to walk right up to the darn thing and just pick it up. <laughs> okay, looks like we're down to 12 feet here. This is a big fish. This might be the biggest one I've caught yet in this game. Okay, we're going to walk it. We're going to walk it. He's right there on the shore. There we go. Check it out. Check it out. And we got him. <laughs> there you go, guys. $304. 40.59 pounds. Yes, that is the biggest fish I've caught in the game so far. That is the biggest fish I've caught in the game so far. This is so awesome. Isn't he cool looking? Now, we're, that's what we're talking, guys. Look at the cash for him. And I think I completed a mission on top of everything else. Alright, I think you guys have gotten the idea. Definitely stick with it. I got all of those quests done. All of them. So we are going to go ahead... Let's see here, F3. We're going to go ahead and exit the location. Now we're going to go to our quests, and we're going to get our rewards. Let's see, 30 cash, 50 cash. 25 cash and we've got weekly quests we've got eight quest points and we've also got monthly quests but you don't know what you're going to get so there's fish of given species time spent on fishing ground I'm going to go ahead and collect one catch this many fish of a given species 45 Ooh. <laughs> So any species will count towards that. All right. Let's go back here. Nope, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Still haven't got any more skill points, so I can't spend those yet. And we go home. We're going to go to our net. Because I'm sure we're pretty full here. Yeah, the European eel here was three stars, so he wasn't... I don't know that he... Yeah, he really wasn't trophy worthy yet. I'm basically going to start making it a minimum of four before I put him up on the, on the wall now. But we got us pink salmon, we got four European eels, two European sea sturgeons, I thought I had three, but still... That beluga sturgeon, and still, he's only one star, guys. Just one. Just think about how much bigger they're going to be getting. All right, let's go ahead and sell these guys. Because right now we need as much cash as we can get. Because we have got to improve our gear. See, now we're at 1022 and 18 cents. So we're going to keep at this, guys. I'm going to keep collecting as much cash as I can get and see if we can't keep moving up. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And in the next episode, I guess we'll be checking out the next, next lake. I think it's going to be going live tomorrow, maybe, on Friday. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's tomorrow, though. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.